What were the main architectural achievements of the ancient Romans? My presentation is based around the ancient Romans and their greatest accomplishments in architecture. These include the invention of concrete, the use of arches, and the construction of roads and aqueducts. These masters of architecture created the foundations for design and engineering, which are still highly influential today. Concrete The ancient Romans produced the first concrete, which was a mixture of ash, lime mortar, sand and stones. Concrete, or opus cementicium, was an incredibly useful material because it was fireproof, watertight and strong. Its high durability made it the choice material for Romans who used it to construct buildings, roads and bridges, which still exist today. It allowed for the construction of tall strong structures and when in a liquid state could be poured into moulds and cast into different shapes. According to Vitruvius's book De Architectura, the magnificent quality of Roman concrete was due to the use of pozzolanic ash. Arches Although the Romans did not invent the arch, they excelled previous societies in the use of it. Before, the post and lintel was the most commonly used building style, which consisted of two vertical posts supporting the horizontal lintel that rested on top. However, this technique brought about inconvenience because it limited the weight that could be upheld. An example of this technique can be seen in Stonehenge. The Romans solved the problem by introducing the new technique of the voussoir arch and keystone. The keystone was at the centre of the arch, at the highest point and carried all the weight with semicircular stones on either side called voussoirs. The voussoirs brought the weight to the columns through the rectangular shaped blocks called buttresses and thus the weight of the structure could be evenly distributed. As you can see in this image, the Colosseum is made up of numerous arches. And from this diagram, we can see that the development of the arch enabled larger buildings. Roads The ancient Romans built an unparalleled network of roads which branched out to the various regions of the empire. Since Rome was the centre of all communications, many roads led to it. They were often built by the army in straight lines, so soldiers could travel quickly and easily. This photograph is an example of a surviving Roman road, and from it we can see the precision with which it was made. Roads were generally constructed with four layers. The first layer consisted of sand, followed by a layer of dirt, then gravel and concrete, with cobblestones laid on top. The road was higher up towards the centre, so that when it rained, the water would run off into ditches on either side. Aqueducts The development of the arch system allowed the creation of the highly sophisticated Roman waterway system, known as the aqueduct, which transported vast amounts of water over a long distance. The water flowed in a tube on the top, called a water channel, which was lined with concrete, and special basins situated along the system helped purify the water. When the water reached the city, it was then passed through a network of pipes to provide water for public fountains, baths, and private houses. The system depended upon various gradients or slopes in order for the water to flow downhill, and the majority of the system ran underground. The ancient Romans were some of the greatest architects and engineers, and to have their roads, aqueducts and other structures still intact today is a testimony of their skill and expertise. They truly were great achievers.